This is Lola Lee T. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. So Stunner Girl has dropped her receipts after the CEO of the Zeus Network posted his to whom this may concern regarding fiction. She also went live on Instagram. So I'm going to post the receipts and her tweets while playing her Instagram live. She also talks about her experience as a baddie and what was really going on. This is a really tea worthy Instagram live. I suggest you get yourself a snack, get yourself something to drink and listen in. That man should have just sipped his tea and shut it the fuck up. He should have just did that. My, now I gotta show y'all my phone real quick. So I noticed the guy talking about those text messages. Those text messages. I gotta do his voice. Those, those text messages are fakes, Donna. You made it up. Like, I'm gonna go to the top. This is bitch number though. That's a mood to me. Alright, let's go from the top. This is the first text message she's ever sent me. What's the date on it? I advise you niggas not to get me started, pussy. What the fuck is wrong with you niggas? Okay, so it says, hey, it's Scotty. Donna. Let me go down. Let me keep the thing on the phone so y'all can see this. Body because it's bitch hitting. To that nigga that ate your booty, babe. <laughs> not the same. It's a big difference. For, um, I made up these text messages. I'm trying to scroll down to where it starts off. Niggas been better. Must have clicked in a. Okay, here it goes. Boop. That's when the bitch says she take pills for the BV, man. Why is it upside down? Is it upside down on y'all shit? Oh, you yellow tape and shit. She ain't the only one. So let's slide it back to the top. Ah. And at 8 p.m. Okay, so what the fuck do I gotta lie about, you pussy ass nigga? It's just some dick and pussy shit, bruh. Why can't you just be a happy hooker? Why you gotta say I'm a liar? Why can't you just be happy about your home and let me? You feel what I'm saying? You running around, selling that little shrimp for a spot on baddies. Everybody who wants the shrimp for a spot on baddies. But look, I'm going to tell y'all like from the beginning. So I remember when I, I got casted, right? I had to go to a dinner and shit. I had to go to the dinner. Um, that's when I was like, that's when I was in that video. Y'all see the video I just posted on my story? When we was, um, when he was smacking Scotty's ass and then I was in the car. But look. Scotty rotation. Scotty rotation. You got ass. You can clap it like a standing ovation. So I pulled up to the dinner just to like, you know, meet them and shit. I had my husband there and stuff. He didn't, he wasn't at the car. He was, he, they was in the car doing something else. I walked into the restaurant and then this bitch Natalie gonna come to me like, oh, I'm Natalie. Um, yeah, we're just gonna have like a quick meeting. Um, and I'm like, okay, I'm like, who are they? Like, you know, what is they about type shit? So then she started telling me all this shit, right? Then the bitch gonna say, yeah, they like young, fun girls. And I'm all like, what's a young, fun girl? Like, I really asked her that. Like, what do you mean a young, fun girl? You know, just like a girl that like, that can party, like party. And she had this like stupid ass fucking white voice on telling me about a young, fun girl. And then she was like, oh yeah, but um, they're just like, they don't, they're not really into like relationships because like Krishan, she'd be having like all this stuff going on. So like when you talk to them, just like, just try to not, you know, like the relationships and stuff. I said, girl, I said, I don't know about that. I got a whole nigga though. And I turned and I showed her my back because I had my like, I had the, y'all see the thing I had on my back was like exposed. And I was like, what do you mean about relationships? So the bitch tried to, I, I think she was basically telling me not to bring up that I had a nigga, but she wouldn't outright say it though. Like you're basically, you're trying to say it in a way like, don't make it seem like you're attached to a messy relationship. But really bitch, 
you looking for a young, fun girl, bitch, that, that don't got a nigga. So I'm already threw off with this bitch. I'm like, the fuck, bitch, like, this bitch talking in motherfucking barcode, bitch, like, say what the fuck you gotta say, bitch. So when I asked her, like, bitch, what you mean, like, relationship, she started explaining, like, Krishana shit. This was, like, the, the fucking second day I knew now, this bitch telling me hella shit. So anyways, we go into the fucking restaurant, grab pop up with Scotty, and this was the first day I met her. And then we all sit at the table and shit, and they just start talking. Immediately, like, when we got into the conversation, they start trying to pin me and Scotty against each other. They're like, oh, my God, Stenner. No, this is Natalie. She's doing it. She's like, Stenner girl's so beautiful. She's just going to be the next star. Doing all that. And then, like, I didn't know at the time that then they were together. So I'm just sitting at the table, like, I'm just peeping the shit out. Like, what the fuck is they doing? Like, you know? And then, dude, then he start, when he start chiming in, then I caught on. Because he was like, yeah, Scotty, you over there mad? Oh, you're mad. And then I looked at her and I was like, it ain't no reason for you to be mad. I was like, girl, I got my own nigga. And I'm like, this your nigga? And then he was like, this is one of my bitches. And I was like, okay. And I looked at her and I'm like, so you, what bitch is you? And then Natalie started laughing. She like, she's like number four, number three. So then I looked at her and then I was like, oh, well, then you shouldn't be letting this nigga pump you up. Because I'm like, um, you know, the rule number one is you never supposed to uh, get in your feelings with a trick. And I said that right at the table to all of them in front of all of them, gag them. All of them start laughing. And I'm like, that's going to be your downfall. I said, but me, I got a real nigga though. And I uh, show my back. They don't even know my nigga standing across the street. Cause we, where we was at was ocean prime. So it's like where we're sitting at is basically an outside porch. So they not even peeping. My niggas standing like across the street, smoking a blunt, looking directly at us. So we get into all that. Da -da -da -da. And then they just was trying to just make her feel hella bad about herself. Like, oh, what are you going to do, Scotty? There's going to be so many new girls that are so beautiful, like Stena Girl, and they're going to come on to the show. And then, and then, and then, and then, and they were just sitting there just like fucking with this bitch. And it was like, if I was like any other stupid ass bitch, it would, we and her would have been fighting at the table. Like, you feel me? Cause the shit they was just saying was just like fighting words. Like you basically telling this bitch like she's ugly. There's more beautiful girls than her, and da da da. But I kill. I'm the one that kills all that. Like I let it be known. Like bitch, I got a nigga. I don't want your nigga, bitch. And don't get any feelings. Don't get in your feelings with a trick. And then that's when we we got outside and shit. And then um, you know the bitch was twerking, was smacking that ass. And then that's when I knew they was hiding something because when I put the video on him, he ran the fuck out the video. So I'm like. Like, what the fuck is you hiding for? Like, that's the thing I don't understand. Like, nobody really cares, but it's like, what are you hiding it for? Like, where you, why are you hiding these bitches? Like, free these bitches out the cages, P. You be handcuffing the bitches in the motherfucking club. You be parking lot pimping the bitches everywhere we go. Like a fucking dog. Like, this bitch walk around like the fucking dog she holds. I swear to God. Quiet. Walking around with the fucking dog. Looking like the fucking dog. Being the fucking dog. So, you know, as I got on the show and shit, it's just like when I was there on my first season, I was like beefed up with everybody. I was beefed up with him. I was beefed up with the whole fucking production. Like, I was just beefed up because it was just hella weird shit happening. Like, they really felt like when I was on the show, they like, they really try to like make it to where I was just like, didn't have nobody. Like, they wanted me to be there just well, while they got outsiders coming in to fight me and hella shit, we wasn't going for that shit. You feel me? Like, but it's like, they do that weird shit. And I could see why, like, he was doing that with, like, Krishan and Blueface. I could see why. He would do, they do, like, the manipulation, try to get a motherfucker split up game. Like, messy shit. But me and my nigga don't go for none of that. My nigga never liked him. And it would be like, he didn't press this nigga. Like, Really didn't press this nigga because I remember this nigga told me I need to stop gang banging on TV or he said some stupid ass shit and I felt offended. So I called my niggas on him immediately. And I remember we had this like photo shoot for the like cover of, um, we was shooting the cover for the fucking show. And, um, that was already after I had got jumped and shit and they was just doing hella foul shit, just letting me get jumped and all that. So I came up in the parking lot hella deep and his scary ass gonna go out there and send hella security. Like, I, I just want to talk to you guys. Um, can I just talk to your husband? Da -da -da. He did some scary ass shit, was breaking it down. Okay. But my whole thing would be with this dude is like, he acts like a straight female, like a bitch. Like, you act so, you, that nigga acts like a motherfucking bitch and it'd be like for no reason. Like, 
what do the point do this man be having to go on these interviews and get on Instagram, write paragraphs, be trying to troll me? Okay, I left your show. Like, let it go. You did a motherfucking I Hate Stunner Girl tour. You went on hella podcasts. And then it's like, bitch, when I sit there and I and I gag y'all like I did today with that text message, and it's crazy because, like, I could have been did that months ago if I was really tripping. Like... I, you been gave them bitches clap, bitch. I could have been exposed you, but I didn't. It is like I feel like I'm being too nice, y'all. Y'all think I'm being too nice, but it's like so many stories that I can get into with these weirdos, and then nothing I'm saying is it's all factual. So for him to get on Instagram today when I wasn't even fucking talking to him and saying, "Oh, everything's fictional," what I, I can fucking hit his voice. Everything's fictional. None of the stories that she portrays are true. Uh, it's like you a hit dog or holler I wasn't talking to you bitch I said you were her pimp I wasn't talking to you though cause you are Natalie is your bottom bitch and it's time that you it's that you admit that y'all be fucking y'all do y'all do and she be fucking the friend but y'all too y'all be fucking Cause there ain't no motherfucking way in hell. And then they didn't say little shit too. Like they do a little weird shit. Like we was in the club when I was just uh, at the baddies easting and I went to the club. Only day I went to the club with them. And she was like, she was standing right next to me. She was like, turned to him and she was like, I want you tonight. So you're not fucking, but she wants you tonight. And it's just like, it's just some dick and pushy shit. My nigga, like you act like I'm over here saying you, you motherfucking smoke crack. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like, and then I feel like the reason too I even dropped that tea on y'all a long time ago is because he be hella disrespectful and he can't disrespect me. And so y'all wonder why I left the show. I said it was for a lot of reasons because I demand my fucking respect. And that's why me and bro was always bumping heads all the time. Like he's a scrawny little bitch. He knows he can't touch me. He knows he can't fuck me. He knows he can't even fucking look at me. And that's what really be the problem because every bitch that he be casting is literally bitches that he's, that he's fucking. Like all the girls that he be getting on the shows and y'all be wondering why, like, where the fuck did they beef come or why are they so beefed out? Like you don't even really know or it'll be over something small. That's because he's literally casting a group of bitches and then just sitting back and, and watching them fight over him for the whole season. Like you're really a weirdo. You could tell bro was like a fucking geek in high school and this is his first time having some bitches. For you, it's like, that's what I said earlier. I'm like, it'd be so many raw bitches coming to them auditions and shit. And all the, the bitches that you pick is all bitches that you are fucking with. Literally, you're casting bitches just to come on the show and fight over your clap stained ass Mila mini dick, bitch. Mm -hmm. The fuck are you talking about? Mm -hmm. And then it'd be real bitches like me. It's like, bro, a real bitch like me can only be around some sh goofy shit like this for, you know, it, it takes a toll. Like, a real bitch like me can't be around like that. No. Can't. So you're mad at me because I left? And you know what's so funny? He's a messy ass bitch. Like, the day I was leaving, right, I remember, um, I told him, like, no, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta get to, um, wherever my show was. And when I was leaving, that nigga got in his feelings and he immediately posted, like, oh, I want Scarface for a replacement. And what's so funny is, like, I remember I told them about her. I'm the one that got her in. Like, he didn't want nothing to do with her. Said she was dirty. Said she stank at the fucking grand opening. He said all this shit about her. And I walked her up to him. And I was like, you need to put her on the show. And then that's when he got on the microphone and was like, okay, I'm going to put her on the show. Who wants, who wants her on the show? Da -da 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 -da. So it was like, he do that type of shit. Like, he's like a messy ass bitch. He tries to get people to be against each other. It is weird ass shit the nigga do. So that day he immediately like when I said I, I didn't even post yet that I was leaving. I had just I told him I was finna go. Nigga tried to argue me down. And then that's when he started fucking with me on the internet and was subbing me and saying all the shit about me. And that's when I seen him in the lobby and I started telling him like, bitch, I'ma slap the fuck out you. Woo. And then he thought it was funny. He was like, no, it's gonna work good. It's not like da -da 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 -da. And then as soon as I leave, um, he was doing hella shit, just subbing me and talking about me. All because I said I'm leaving the network. Like, it's not that big of a deal, bro. If you feel like you're around here making stars, bitch, make another one. 
Why does every bitch that you get on your platform already have followers? I already had 300K followers when I got on the platform. Why does every bitch that you get on the platform, you already fucking know? Like, it don't make no sense. And I really feel bad for um Scotty. Because she just, like, walks around like his little fucking pet. I'm starting to think she's a, a walking Frenchie. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting to think that she's a that she's a that she's a living Frenchie. This bitch walk around sad all day, crying. He be having her cooped. That nigga be handcuffing the bitch pee. I remember when we was out at my birthday, and my uh, big cousin he was like standing next to her, like like she was like standing behind him or something. That nigga came over there, and I'm talking about like made that bitch stand in the corner and look at the wall, like. I couldn't believe my motherfucking eyes, bro. I was like, bitch, you finna let this nigga in the club, bitch. Put you in a motherfucking corner, bitch. Like you on motherfucking timeout. I could get my big cousin on here right now. That's the one that Natalie was... That... <laughs> Yo. But, bro, he's like... He's like an um, insecure little bitch. I'm talking about hella insecure. Like, how you gonna make the bitch stand in the corner, P? In the club. We're in a club. It's a small space. She can't she can't stand in the section. He's about to have a fucking heart attack. Anybody. Like when I was just on No Jumper, um, the interviewer was like, Yeah, I was just in Vegas with them, bro. He he was he didn't even he was acting crazy. I, was, I couldn't even talk to the bitch. I couldn't look at the bitch. And then it's like nigga, like the uh shit that I had put on my Twitter today. That's just the truth. Call this my son. Disney. Net. Mm, mm, mm. But yeah, that shit I put on. Uh, let's get into that. The, the tweet. So um, this was, I had already, I know this, this was the day that I was leaving the show. Oh, no, no. This was the day I was getting my makeup done before I was leaving. And then um, old girl's business got exposed and shit. And then. They was already beefing because the other bitch been around before her. You feel me? Like, I remember when I had, on my birthday, on my birthday weekend, when I had went to that hotel, I think it was like the one, but he was out having dinner with this bitch. And I asked him, who the fuck is, who is that? And then he was saying that was his bitch. So I never knew like she was going to be on the show or nothing. I thought she was just another girl, the um, inner girl. They was together in the fucking hotel. I ever slept with my boss. <laughs> yo, yo, see, see, see. And I feel like I got a video of that shit because we was eating at the bar. But anyways, um, yeah, the fucking I heard all the shit the bitch was saying he gave her the clap and and that he be dogging her and doing her hella bad and all this other shit. And you know, that's around the time I felt like some compassion for Scotty. Cause I really feel like she's like just a weak ass, lame ass bitch. But it's like bitches like her is like you feel compassion for because it's like, damn, bitch, you're really a weak ass bitch. But it'd be like, you know, you don't want the bitch to get bullied and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like in her situation, she just was like a bitch that fell in love with her trick. And y'all know what the funniest part is that Natalie be mad about? Because Natalie's always like, Lemmy doesn't even really know. She's really a fucking whore. And da 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 da. I used to have this bitch on the Jets. She used to be on the jet with me, eating pussy and popping it everywhere. And he thinks that. He thinks that that one time we got on the jet was her first plane ride. And he didn't even know. Like, she just be so mad because he don't know the tea about her. So she was like, yeah, you remember when we got on the jet and then he couldn't move his seat and Scotty went over there and pushed the buttons. And he was like, how does she even know that? Duh, because the bitch been popping coochie from here to motherfucking Africa. You're just a dumbass trick. Like I said, you're just like a little boy who just hit his growth spur and got a little couple dollars and barely started playing with hoes playing with checks so of course you can never smell the hoe on her because you're not a boy you're not a dog a bitch like her could pull the wool over your eyes but see she would have been in a good position though if she would have played her cards right listen to what the fuck i told her when i first met her and i have a really good thing like when i meet people i can read them immediately like i could tell you about yourself i swear to god so when I, I peeped her whole situation within five minutes and I literally told her, bitch, do not fall in love with your trick. And guess what the dumb bitch did? 
Not only did she fall in love, she fell into a motherfucking arrangement. This nigga got this bitch in a $3,000 apartment a month. Then the bitch Natalie said, the bitch don't even get no purses out the nigga. She don't even get no good allowance. The only thing she get is her rent paid, and he got cameras in her house. So he can see everything she motherfucking do. Bitch, you let, you playing girlfriend with the trick, bitch. Playing girlfriend with the trick, bitch. Okay. Not only are you playing girlfriend, bitch, why are you doing GFE with a John? Why? He is a John. He is a client. You need to treat him accordingly. Treat him accordingly, bitch. He's a fucking client. He's a client. Treat him as such. He's a John. He pays for your pussy. Why are you falling in love with a man and you know he got a wife? And then the wife is like, bitch, bitch. I never said that. I asked him. I'll go, oh, God. I asked him right front of face. I was like, I was like, your wife don't be tripping about none of this? She can't trip. Her whole family lives in my house. I pay all the bills. I take care of her and her family. I took her family from the island. So it's like, I guess she, I guess she up in a nigga house packed up like sardines in that bitch or some. That's the only reason why she don't be saying then. But then I can't really say that though. Because one time, I don't, it's like, how you don't know they fucking. And I remember she, they said that she ran up in the car on Scotty and was like, you be fucking my nigga. Like, bitch, I know yo. I don't even want to talk about her because she's so sweet. But it's like, I know your antennas ain't off like that. Like, this man be partying. I mean, he be with y'all all day. Like, y'all is a threesome. Like, I don't get how you didn't know that. Like, bitch, you around your man every day. I'm pretty sure you know if your man is fucking somebody. Like, but I mean, I shit, I guess she in it for the check. She the, she the one that's winning. The bitch got her names on the motherfucking shows and she's signing off the checks and the nigga taking care of her family man. He got the uh, family man package deal. The granddad deal. Family man, family guy. You know? So she the one with she, she got the family guy deal. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bitch, you better have some whoops on the side too, bitch. <laughs> Free J, he shout that slam, man. <laughs> Hey, look, everybody, everybody call her Free JD Shot. <laughs> but no, it's the real shit, though. And then it was like, I remember on my season two, um, her and Razor was just, just, just they, they was going at it. Nigga, they was, I remember, we, that, oh, that scene when we was on a jet. Okay, that what really happened when we was on a jet. The bitch was trying to check me, and I wasn't letting her check me. Then she started to shift her energy, like her focus and her energy onto Scotty. I'm talking about this bitch. She was taking some shots and she got up like, Scotty, this is my dick. This is my dick, bitch. That's why you mad, bitch. This is my dick. And I'm going to fuck your nigga. Ooh, just out of nowhere. Like this bitch was arguing with me and then just started thinking about Scotty. And so then we ended up fighting because she, when we was getting off the plane, she ran up in Scotty's face and she was like, this is my nigga. This is my dick. And then she was like, fuck you, stunner. In, in Scotty's face. I'm all the way in the back of the plane like, okay, bitch. I knew I was on your mind, bitch, on my mind. But like, she she told her, fuck you, stunner. And she was arguing with her. And so I was like, bitch, this, I knew this bitch was thinking about me, bitch. But even that fucking whole plane ride was weird. That's when I got into it with them again. They started trying to play a game with the shots or whatever. I wasn't even, y'all remember, I was hella mad on the plane. I wasn't even paying attention to these motherfuckers. And then I remember um, they start playing the game like the truth or shot. What is that shit when you, when you take a shot? If you're not telling the truth or I forgot the shot game, whatever they start, he starts asking weird ass questions. He asked Scotty, has she ever in her butt? And I'm like, and she was like, I'm gonna take a shot. And I'm like, okay, so they into some freaky shit. And then he was like, if you got, what did he say? How he worried. He was like, if you guys have a crush on your boss, take a shot. I didn't take a shot. Fucking, um, who else didn't take a shot? I think I was the only one that didn't take a shot. Now I'm thinking about it. Oh, no. I think the girl low did it, but she took a shot for the other nigga, his little right-hand partner, the one with the, um, what is that shit called? The toupee on his head? But I didn't take a shot, and he was going to say, Stunner girl, you're fired. And I said, I was like, bro, stop fucking playing with me. Oh, God, whoop. I started tripping immediately. He was like, you're fired, Stunner girl. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Bitch, you weren't kidding. You were not kidding. Oh, God, you was not kidding, nigga. You only said you was kidding when I got the tripping on your bitch ass. I just, cause that shit's disrespectful. Like, bitch, you know, I got a whole nigga, like, don't ever, 
you're, you're fired. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I was just joking. I was just joking. Your nerd ass was not joking, bitch. You started to joke, bitch, when you got called out your motherfucking name. That's when it became a joke. That's when it became a joke. When I began to call you all types of bitch ass little niggas, that's when it became a joke. So you know I told my man about that immediately. And then that's another thing that used to hate too, but I would call my nigga like, like when the times we was out of state, like when that shit happened, we was out of state. I would call my nigga and put my nigga on speakerphone. They would be, boop. You're always calling your, that, that's a breach of security. Uh, nigga, my nigga started mobbing, started pushing up. Like when I was in the autumn houses alone, my nigga would be there. It wasn't, no. You niggas wasn't gonna try to come touch on me while I'm in the house alone, bitch. No. Wasn't finna get me. He wasn't finna get me. But I would really call my nigga on the phone, like when weird shit would be going on and I have him on speakerphone. So Brad will always be like, do, do not start. Just please don't be calling Trey. Please just don't, don't call Trey this time. Please. Uh, like, bitch ass nigga. And then he thought he was hard because he has like this big bald security guy. And yeah, he'd be like, crash jamming him out and i don't know why he makes him feel like he's just some like street ass nigga like them niggas be so confused it's so funny to me because one day lemmy's like super square and the next day he's like i be with jay prince and then the next day he's like i gotta i gotta separate myself from jay prince they're like there's too much going on like but you don't know what the fuck you want to be like you don't know if you want to be a pimp a hoe a buster a square a motherfucking wwe referee you got to pick your poison. You know what I'm saying? You have to. Them niggas is really mad, y'all. And I'm going to keep it a band because I got off with 250 and was there for a day. And that's why it's always going to be beef because they feel played. Not only that, I got another 25,000. I, I fucking finessed them out another 25,000 to go shopping. And I said I was giving it to a motherfucking stylist. And I was. My stylist, it was a $25,000 budget on Mama's. All for me. So I will always hate me too. I didn't y'all didn't get no viral moments out of me for the 250 with the 25, that's 275. Y'all didn't get no viral moments out of me for that. I got ghosts and I'm still getting paid and I'm still good. So I will be going around in interviews talking about me too. I would. Bitch, you ran off with the check. Oh mamas. Sure did. And sure did. And you niggas can't touch me. You niggas can't fuck me. <laughs> well, Stella Girl had even more to say. I just wanted to stop the video for a second just to show you guys this tweet. She said that she's been having these receipts for a long time and she could have posted them. She's saying that she doesn't need the clout from, you know, the bees. And um, she's saying that those girls are not getting booked. And she's basically saying that she's doing all this because she's literally tired. She's tired of these MFers that are messing with her and constantly talking about her. And I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and supporting my channel. Let's get back to Stunner Girls Instagram Live. <laughs> I would be sick too. Cause it's real skeezers over there that's really busting it open for 3K. It's some real skeezers over there that and it's like, do y'all really think this man really got money, bruh? Y'all gotta really be broke niggas getting loans. Broke nigga is getting a loan. Uh, it's black owned. It's black owned. What is black owned? You know you them white folks. You gotta turn it you be on the phone with them white folks. They be telling you what the fuck to do. Every time I used to ask him something like, oh, I think we should go here. He'll be like, I got to run it past my, uh. What? If you're the boss, what fucking team do you got to run it past? What the fuck are you always talking about? You got to get approved for everything. Like, you got to literally get approved for my budget. I don't know. Um, we can't. And then remember when I was in the interview and I was telling y'all, and I was trying to explain to the dude when I was like, they can't put on the paper that they're giving me 250 because he said that his higher uppers they're going to be like, how, why is she getting all this money? So they had to put on the paper that I was getting 100000 for four videos. Am I signed to Zeus? Come on now, bro, it's cap. Why would my paperwork say I'm getting 100000 for four videos and then another one fifty for the season? Make it make sense because he's on there lying. You're on there lying because you can't, you can't do that. Then white folks going to be on you. 
You had to put on my motherfucking contract that you were giving me a hundred thousand for four videos because you couldn't put on there that you was giving me two fifty. So who the fuck are you hiding from if it's black owned and you're the boss? Because if it's black owned and you're the boss, you can put whatever the fuck you want on the contract. Like who the fuck are you hiding from? Like this man is so cat with that low ass Cartier watch and that low ass chain. Like you finally went and got a chain. My chain's bigger than yours. Infinity Cuban, five hundred grams. I'm tired of you walking around with the bitch Cartier. Like, I just don't understand this shit. And this bitch is like me. Nigga could never talk to me how he be doing Natalie. I'm talking about he got Natalie so in pocket. Like, that's really his stomp down. Y'all think I'm playing, but that's really his foot. And then this bitch be thinking she slick. She be trying to be around this motherfucker recruiting bitches for them niggas. Like, bitch, you're not slick, bitch. You're not slick, bitch. Natalie be over there eating hella pussy. Pussy peddler. For sure. I seen the I seen them one time. I remember I went to that show and I was hella sick and I didn't want it to come out. They was leaving with a whole bus full of random ass bitches. And I'm like, I swear, and I and I and they when I walked past the door was open. It, bitch was on a bus naked. Natalie was, bitch was on a motherfucking, she was doing a downward dog under some pussy. And I just walked past like, bitch, you supposed to be married, bitch. And this is what you do, bitch. This is what you do behind your husband's back, bitch. That bitch, then, then motherfucking, that bitch then motherfucking, bro, y'all seen all my story when my little ass cousin was slapping her ass? My little cousin is fresh 18. Bow, 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 flat booty cheeks. When we was at the groups, y'all know like everything I be saying is facts. Like I don't know why these people be playing with me. This shit really funny to me. Cause it ain't like I'm exposing some real shit. Like I'm exposing some dick and pussy shit. Like you don't do no real shit. It's just funny. This is actually funny. Cause what are you, what the fuck are y'all hiding from? Like what do these people be so scared about? Why are you hiding Scotty? Free Scotty too, bruh. Free Scotty out the cages too. Free Scotty out the cages too. But back to her. It's like, y'all see that on my story. It ended up on motherfucking um, Hollywood Unlocked or whatever. My little cousin's fresh 18. Bow, bow, bow in the back of this bitch. Bitch fucking with my other cousin. Bitch just fucking everywhere. Since I met Natalie, she just be fucking. Like, bitch, you fuck everywhere. Like, bitch. You don't have no motherfucking morals to that cat, bitch. That's just a freelance cat. Literally, it's freelance. And then he be in his feelings like, Natalie can't bring niggas to dinners. She has to sneak and get hotels when we be in like different cities. The bitch would have to hide what she was doing from Lenny. So that's when I knew that them two were fucking. Like, what are you, if this is your boss, what are you, like, why does it matter who you fuck? Like, you're already fu fucking off on your husband. So who the fuck is this man? Like, what the fuck are you hiding from this man? Like, this bitch, we think she'd be in the house. This bitch would FaceTime me in a motherfucking hotel rolling around with the dude, uh, Craig or whatever the fuck his name. I don't remember his name. He was from Bad Boys. But everywhere she went, like, every city, the bitch just rolling around, rolling around, rolling around, jump around crew, jump around crew, all over the bed. And then it's like, what are you so scared of that you're hiding it from Lemmy, bitch? Duh, cause y'all fucking, that's your fucking pit, bitch. Like, stay in pocket, ho. You knew to hide, bitch. You knew you couldn't do that, bitch. You knew you couldn't be out of pocket in front of the nigga, bitch. It's gonna get that ass beat, bitch. You know better. The fuck is you talking about? You know better, bitch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know better, bitch. Mm-hmm. The bitch knows. The bitch wasn't getting loose in front of him. She sneaks off. She sneaks off and, 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 and goes to rooms. That's what she does. And, and she gets that lip tap when she be getting smart. And then it'd be craziest. All you bitches is taller than this nigga. If y'all don't come together and jump little blood and really stop, pack that nigga out and stop playing bitches, horse. And that's why I be feeling like you whores, he makes a great pin for y'all because you whores really need guidance and instructions. Imagine if Lemmy wasn't there on set every day. What the fuck would these bitches be doing? 
Like he's literally the light of their life. When he comes on set, they get all bright. They're trying to prove themselves. Your daddy's home. Like really, we're, we're like, what the fuck would these bitches be doing if he wasn't there? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck they would be doing. I know too. Um, when I met T, I met T that day too. I like T. But they were super jealous of her because he liked her. Mm -hmm. They were super mad about that. And then it'd be like, he a weirdo too because it's like, you already got two bitches on the show that you really fuck with. Like, them bitches is your bitches. And then you try to bring T on because you try to crush on her or whatever the case may be. So you try to have three bitches really going up. Have y'all ever noticed, like, all the bitches that Scotty fights every time they get into an argument? They be like, ha ha, bitch, your nigga want me, bitch. That's why your nigga want me. Like, this bitch be fighting tooth and nails with his hoe. That bitch wants, she coming for a motherfucking number one spot. <laughs> Yo, that bitch really, she trying to step for the nigga though. I ain't, that bitch don't even fight that hard for her motherfucking self. And then her and Natalie be fighting like they in like a nasty little lesbian, like undercover lesbian relationship. Like Natalie be so mad at this bitch. Like, what are you so mad at her for? Like, she eating that pussy. Stop eating that pussy and start gobbling that dick. That's why you're mad, bitch. You're not getting your pussy, eh? Pussy's not purring. The pussy's not purring, bitch. No. She doesn't want your cheeks. She doesn't want them anymore. <laughs> Yo, these bitches are so funny, bruh. I don't even know why she got on the internet the other day and was talking about me. You know, it's so funny. I was trying to ignore it. I did. I ignored it for like a couple of days. And then people kept sending it to me and sending it to me and sending it to me. And I was like, all right, bitch. I'm finna flame you, bitch. I'm finna gash you, bitch. You know, you know them bitches. Y'all seen the pictures? Uh, motherfucker Scotty used to be in the back of them cheeks like, ho oh, ho America, bitch. <laughs> That's why they be fighting. That bitch want her pussy egg. But you got, y'all got to think about it. Scotty has to put on like this innocent act because I remember one time somebody at the table said that like, uh, they be fucking. And then she was like, me and Natalie don't be fucking. And then Lemmy looked at her and was like, y'all better not be. Uh, uh. So she has to play this like innocent role. And I think that's what Natalie really despises because she's like, this bitch is a fucking slut. She's a fucking slut and she's fucking playing. <laughs> she's like, this bitch is a fucking slut. She's in her fucking playing a role, little fucking whore. She's acting fucking innocent all the fucking life. <laughs> She be hella mad that she be hella mad Scotty can't be her little dirty whore. Ooh. Be her nasty whore. Ooh. Be her nasty whore. That's what the that bitch be she be boiling, bitch. She want she want the freaks to come out at night. And you know what I'm saying? He he got the bitch tucked in tight, P. That's what the bitch. That's why y'all they be fighting. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, he be having Natalie as his drill sergeant. So it'd be like, she just can't wait to whip that bitch in line. Like, shoo. Anyway, mommy. Yeehaw, yeehaw. Ukeres por nocha. She be whipping that bitch in shape. She, he, she, every time, every time the bitch pisses off Lenny, Natalie drill sergeants that bitch. Like she heard top wifey. Top wifey in charge, bitch. Top wifey the bitch. Like... And it's really all because she can't be your dirty whore. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. She want a nasty whore. That's all it be about. And then I feel like when she be putting on the front and like, I'm just so innocent. Natalie's brain be like, if she had like a picture motion in there, all she is remembering is like, ah, Scotty. Legs crossed out on the jet. Scotty eating pussy, eating ass on the beach. It's just flipping through her mind. And she's sitting there, bitch, fuming out the mouth. Mad. Because she wants the freaking her to come out, bitch. That's what that be about. She wants her cheeks ate. She wants her cheeks ate. That's, that's what it be about. You know what I'm saying? 
That was why the bitch be mad. She wants her cheeks clapped. So yeah. I got all I gotta say is tell these people to leave me alone. Because it's like I really got a video on my phone. And it's like <sighs> I'm trying to go down for posting revenge porn. I'm just not trying to go down for that. <laughs> I'm trying not to do that, bruh. I've been spearing them. If y'all really think about it, too. What's this month? Uh, January? I mean, how long I was having that text message for? What was that? August? August? Was it August? Yeah, it was August. So, if I wanted whatever the fuck. Anyways, none of them bitches even have clout. They don't even be booked. When have you seen these bitches booked outside of there? They don't be booked anywhere. Y'all bitches be on a rap tour and don't even fucking rap. I'm just trying to, you know. What do you guys do outside of this show? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely fucking nothing. Y'all do absolutely fucking nothing. And that's what, and that's what be irritating me. Because it'd be like, I really be in my own world. Be up in my crib. Minding my motherfucking business. Going through what the fuck I be going through. Doing what the fuck I be doing. And these motherfuckers always gotta say something. Bring up my name and say something. Stunner girl. Yeah. Um, I met Stunner girl at the auditions. Uh, Stunner girl had 200k followers or she came. Like, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please. I'm tired of your guys' fucking love rectangle. I was tired of it when I was there. I was just tired of just being around y'all. Especially you, you little shrimp. And it's just like, I can't fucking just get rid of this. Every, it just keeps popping up. I go off. I go do songs with motherfuckers. Here he comes, popping up with whoever I just did a fucking song with. Like, why do you study try to follow in my footsteps? Leave me the fuck alone, like. Then you go trolling me, and then you go talking about me, and then everybody's just coming and telling me. Y'all don't be catching this shit. He'd be doing hella shit. Hey, I want a story like he's really a little sassy bitch. And I still don't understand, though, how you guys are letting a nigga that's under y'all chin fuck y'all up. Be fucking you bitches up. Fucking you bitches up. Fucking you bitches up. Fucking you bitches and fucking you bitches up. Fucking you and then fucking you up. Fucking you and then fucking you up. Fucking you bitches, then fucking you up. <laughs> I wish a nigga would try to say I'm lying, bro. A bitch ain't gonna just be texting like, oh, thank you, Stunner, for telling me that. I'm already on, what the fuck pills she say? BV pills. I'm already on BV pills already. Because I already know that nigga got that motherfucking spaghetti. That nigga's cooking with a wet spaghetti. That bitch said she was on some pills to prevent anything in the future. That means in her mind, this nigga can have gonorrhea, syphilis, whatever the case may be. Because she knows that the nigga's just slanging dick around motherfucking Zeus. She already has a pill for protection for the future. She got a pill put in her that's protecting her from anything that she can't see in the near future. Because she's already knowing what to expect. I am sitting here completely in shock at some of the things that I'm hearing. I have never heard of a pill that would prevent you from getting any of these things. I feel so out of touch. I have no idea. Is there such a thing? And that is sad. Bitch, is there even a pill that exists? This bitch says she got a pill to prevent anything. Bitch, wear a fucking condom, bitch. Like, the fuck, bitch, wear a condom. And then the other bitch is so funny. It's just like, Stun is lying. She's lying. She's lying. And so what's crazy is like, the only reason why I really posted the names because the last time when I had talked about it, y'all kept saying that like, oh, if you ain't going to put it on the, leave it if you ain't going to put it on the plate, girl, I, 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 making it seem like I'm just lying because I won't say their names. That's why I said, okay, y'all got the right bitch today. Then you got to think about it. I'm already fed up. These motherfuckers got my Instagram too. 
that was already just a big deal. Like, y'all even playing with me and taking my Instagram. And then, mind you, the shit happened months later. Like, T called me and was like, he does that all the time. She was even trying to convince me to be cool with him because she didn't want them to keep fucking with my ass. I'm not being cool with that nigga, nigga. I'll go get a motherfucking cybersecurity team before I ever... Oh, you guys are messing with my Instagram. That's what he do. Like, when he get mad at fucking Scotty, he be telling the bitch, like, when I met you, bitch, you had 10K followers. I built your platform and I'll take it away. Like... Like, like, he's her fucking granddad. Like, bitch, that shit don't move me. Nigga, I got a whole team behind me that's going to get the shit right back. Immediately. I'm not her. That's not going to move me to come fuck with y'all. If that's what you thought. That's just going to make me mad. And when I build shit up and I finally just explode, this is what you get, bitch. This is what you get. I'm talking about y'all whole soap opera. And I don't really even think anybody really cares, like, who you're fucking. It's just funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's funny that these is the people that motherfuckers is watching on TV. And if the real, the real, the real good shit is the shit that's not on camera. That's what the funny part is. Like, the real tea is just not on camera. And that's facts. So I don't think nobody really cares. I don't even care. I just be thinking it's funny because they be letting this little elf man play with them. And then it's like, you bitches hype him up so bad that he feels like he could just be disrespecting every bitch. And it's like, no, you, you ran into a bitch like me, bitch. You ran into a bitch like me. And I for sure done did more shit than you out here. So I already look at you like you're a bitch. You feel what I'm saying? Like they, they hinder this nigga's growth. Yeah, so y'all hoes felt me today because y'all bitches is the reason why this little fucking plankton bastard is just running around wild. You bitches are the fucking reason. You whores are the source. You whores is why penguin bastard, plankton bastard is just on a motherfucking loose running rampage. And if I really blame you, you whores, I do. Because y'all bitches is the type of bitches y'all can get motherfucking stomped on, spit on, bitch, called everything but a, but the, but a mother of God. And y'all gonna be right back begging, 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 begging to be on that motherfucking show. You know what's so funny? I just found this text message. I just found this text message when um, Natalie was saying Piggy was Sydney. She was saying that. But I'm going to show y'all how desperate bitches be, though. Where is it at? It's just the fact that, like, it ain't that serious, ma. If all y'all bitches, how y'all be acting like, oh, y'all some big boss, Ricky Ross, Rose. All y'all bitches act like y'all some big boss bitches. But y'all be letting that nigga fuck y'all over, bitch. And y'all do anything to just stay on TV. Getting gutted out. Oh, look at this is it. Y'all see this? Oof, when was this? August? It said, girl, why is Biggie the new Sydney? This is what Natalie texted me. She showed up to our tour booking, drove nine hours, says I have my suitcase. Says I have my suitcase in the car. I'm ready to be on the road. You'll go on media said. I said, that was Lemmy. She said, Lemmy said, um, I don't know about that. Now, I swear to God, he walked away. But my ass said Biggie. And this bitch had the audacity. This bitch had the audacity to come to their defense today. Do you see what they say about you? They say this to your face, bitch. Like, let's not even play games. I just told y'all this was a text from Natalie. Let me let me scroll up. Since if y'all if y'all don't know if it's her or not. Oh matter of fact, here goes a video of her. I know she was sending me a video of something something that was happening when I wasn't there. But yeah, but this is how the people that you sticking up for talk about you. We're going to do some still shots on those texts, boo. Okay. And this is my old phone. This is the one that has all the tea in it. This is the phone that I had when I was on, um, when I was on the fucking shit. But it's just crazy to me, like, y'all really gotta, y'all really gotta do better. Y'all gotta come together as a motherfucking cheerleading squad, bitch. Put y'all motherfucking pom-poms, bitch, in. And y'all need to come up with a master plan. Y'all need to whoop that nigga's ass. Y'all need to whoop his ass. Somebody grab a pan. Somebody grab a belt. Grab a shoe. 
and the motherfucker is only like four foot fucking nine. One of you big bitches, Scotty's a big bitch. You're taller than him, bitch. I know you be looking down at him, bitch. Chris, punch that straight, bitch. Punch down, bitch. I'm gonna need y'all to come together as a collective group and whoop his ass. You hear me? Or bitch. Go back to motherfucking cheer camp, bitch. That's what I need you hoes to do. Okay. Y'all have a good night. Ooh, I want a nasty whore. <laughs> Bye, y'all. All right, guys. That's the end of the live. There you have it. Stunner Girl is claiming, alleging both Anna Mac and Scotty have been betting Lemmy. Lemmy allegedly gave Anna an unwanted gift. This is according to Stunna. And now we know what Anna Mac and Scotty's beef was all about. And I'm not going to lie, I have heard about the rumors regarding Razor. And Stunna is also alleging that Lemmy started to not treat Krishan very good when he realized she didn't have Blueface as her muscle, that she was basically on her own. What are your thoughts about all of this? Do you believe Stunna or do you believe Lemmy? So basically, are you team Stunna or are you team the CEO, the CEO of the Zeus Network? Who is telling the truth? Who is telling the truth? Let me know your thoughts. I ever slept with my boss. <laughs> yo, yo, see, see, see. Everybody trying to come out like, they treat us so good. We're in black cars. <laughs> we have this, we have that. It's called Pay Christian, nigga. <laughs> Hashtag Pay Christian, nigga. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any hot tea for me, message me on Instagram. I love you guys. Bye.